You know, a friend of mine told me when I gave them their Christmas card and Christmas present that I probably took Christmas too seriously. I disagree. They don't take it seriously enough. Even though they're probably right, I I sometimes probably do take Christmas too seriously for some of my friends. For some of my friends' tastes, even though they also celebrate Christmas. Oh, they don't celebrate enough. It's Christmas Eve now, when I'm recording this. It's time for Christmas to intensify. Christmasing intensifies! It's near Christmas, so it's time for merriment and festive clothing. Not jumpers. No. No jumpers. Instead, we have... I'm also, I'm really sorry for the lighting in this, but uh, I don't know, I just don't know what's going on today. The lighting's just been atrocious. I've had to fix this like three times. Stupid sun, and then my artificial lighting, it's just, it's just not happening today. Anyway, where was I? Festive clothing. Yes. These bad boys. Hang on, I'll get these right in your face. That's Kermit the Frog pink Santa socks. Yeah. But you like them socks, don't you? Love my Christmas socks. I love Christmas socks. Not a fan of Christmas jumpers, but Christmas socks, yes. And Christmas songs. Who doesn't love a good Christmas song? Cause baby, all I want for Christmas is you. What? What do you mean that comes under the restraining order? It's been like six months. Really? Huh. Hmm. Um, well, this is awkward. Merry Christmas. Let's just forget that happened. Oh, you know, we could be walking in a winter wonderland. Or if you prefer, walking in a winter wonderland. That was my attempt at a Christopher Walken impression. You are welcome, internet. You're welcome to have another Christopher Walken impression that was so bad, your ears are probably bleeding. I'm sorry. And one more thing. Christmas films and Christmas specials. Everyone has like at least one Christmas film. If you celebrate Christmas, you have at least one Christmas film. I've just realized something. I've gone three minutes into this video, into the recording of this video, without something. Uh, I'm gonna keep this bit in. Okay, one second. I'm not just gonna wear one Santa hat, I'm gonna wear two. There is a reason to why I have two Santa hats. Because I had one last year. It served me well last year, so I kept it for this year. Go, yep, double hat in it. Awesome. Had one last year, and then went to a party last Saturday um, where they were dishing out Christmas hats. Uh, so many people were wearing more than one Santa hat. So I am now going to continue that tradition by wearing two Santa hats. And you can no longer see my eyebrows, so I look weird. Okay, just two Santa hats. Where was I? Christmas films and Christmas specials. Yes, this video is going to be very haphazard when it comes to actually editing it and all that. I'm just kind of slightly all over the place. But Christmas! Anyway, as I was saying, Christmas films. If you celebrate Christmas, you usually have at least one Christmas film. Mine is the Polar Express. Because for me, just nothing encompasses more Christmasness than the Polar Express. Or the Muppets Christmas Carol. But Polar Express has been my Christmas film for the past few years. At least five. But also we have Christmas specials. For example, the Futurama Christmas specials. Because who doesn't love a homicidal Santa Claus? Or who doesn't love the Christmas specials from a show called Chuck? Which, some of you know, I'm a big fan of. Even though they can be quite dark. Or some even less people have heard of this show, Town Called Eureka. Which is a show about... a uh, quiet town that just happens to house the greatest minds in the world, where it goes through all kinds of animation styles, including a really weird anime bit with a snow ninja. Ugh, it's wonderful. So many, so many Christmas, so much Christmas. It really helps you, like, get in the Christmas spirit to just, like, watch a Christmas special and just be like, yes, it's the festive times. I'm just a fan of Christmassy stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I hope, I hope you are as well. Some people... Some people do say that it's a case of sometimes you just don't feel it, or you don't feel too really late, or Christmas just stops feeling like Christmas, and I understand that. You know, there, there are times where it's a case of it just you just don't feel it, but sometimes every now and again it might just click. I'll just be like, 
It's nearly Christmas. It probably is helped by the fact that I have two younger siblings of ages nine and two, but I still respect all other holiday traditions. You know, if you're a celebrator of Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah. If you celebrate Kwanzaa, happy Kwanzaa. If you just celebrate the season, I'm not really, like, big on... I don't really know much about the other alternatives, except for the fact that there's a Hanukkah and there's a Kwanzaa. That's about it, really. So, you know, whatever you celebrate, I absolutely respect that. However, this is where I get to be all sappy by saying it's all about being with those closest to you, whether it be your family or your friends or those that really care for you. And it's about kind of being together and being grateful for all that. So Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy... Happy seasonal greetings, whatever it is that you celebrate. Have a fantastic holidays. This channel will see you in 2015, but if you're subscribed to The Gaming Dave, you will see me one more time. Look forward to that. Subscribe if you haven't already. That would be fantastic. I would like The Gaming Dave to be at 30 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'm hopefully going to do a little bit of a push for that. And, yes, stay safe. See you in the new year. Bye.